Check out footcointraders.com for all of your ultimate team coins and be sure to use the code CHEZ at checkout to get yourself an extra discount. Hey guys, how's it going? Chess back again with episode number 6 of the AC Milan career mode here on Xbox One. We're into the second week of this new career mode. Are we doing okay? Performing quite well in the league. We picked up a win in our first Champions League game against Olympiacos last week. And as you can see on your screen, we're in our second game of the Champions League at home against Zenit St. Petersburg. Saints? Zenit St. Petersburg. But as you can see, we're joint top of the table with Chelsea. They obviously picked up a two-goal victory over Zenit in the opening game. So uh, they will be wanting to... To atone for that but at the same time we want to build on uh, on a good win in the opening game of the Champions League and try and push on towards the top of the group if we possibly can but so uh, we got off to a decent start there Pelosi drawing a good save out the goalkeeper and our Tarapt is going to whip in the corner and the goalkeeper again Malafeyev makes a good save this time from the head of Adil Rami but we weren't done attacking wise Kazuki Honda has a great shot there that again is really really well saved by the goalkeeper they try and clear their lines and there's a controversial penalty given here I don't know whether you saw it off off the ball but uh, Lombards is absolutely furious I didn't notice it until it showed me the replay the ball is actually there with Rubinho and Lombards trips Pelosi on the edge of the box he does actually go down in a heap there and the referee deems that an off the ball incident worthy of giving a penalty so Rubinho steps up and definitely definitely doesn't suffer from any nerves as he smashes the ball into that top left hand corner gives us an early gives us an early 1-0 lead in this game we're hoping to build on that if we possibly can Rubinho's played through on the left hand side he's got a lot of pace here cuts inside really really well and shows great composure yet again to smash the ball into the top corner 25 minutes on the dot we scored a goal in the my player yesterday on 30 minutes on the dot and uh, we ran out winners in that game so maybe we could do the same today in this game against St. Petersburg but they were going to come back at us towards the uh, the later stages of the first half literally just a couple of minutes after we scored that goal lovely ball through to Danny from Timoshuk and it's a great finish underneath the goalkeeper to make it 2-1 just two minutes later so they're back in the game we had to step up our work defensively but they were going to threaten yet again before the end of the first half Hulk gets played through brings it down beautifully and he really should have done better with that finish a player of his caliber that's worth the same amount of money that uh, that Zenit paid for him you really would expect him to uh, to put that ball away but we get a let off unfortunately we're able to uh, to push on and uh, maintain a 2-1 lead but Hulk's involved again plays a lovely ball over the top to Danny brings it down Abiati some reason just supermans the uh, the defender and Danny at the same time and then there's an absolute calamity between Danny not between Danny between the uh, the goalkeeper and the defender that lets Danny in to equalize just before we go in for half time I'll show you the replay here. As you can see, there's just a mix-up between the goalkeeper and the defender. The goalkeeper goes for it, spills it, and it falls back to the defender. And I can't clear it in time by spamming the B button on the controller. And unfortunately, they're back in the game. And they were going to come at us at the beginning of the second half as well. When it was only a good save from Abiati that kept them out and stopped them from going in front in this tie. But we caught them on the counter-attack here. To wrap up to Pelosi, into Honda. Rubinho is making a great lung-bursting run from the box. All the way up the other end, he's going to get there first. Slide it underneath the goalkeeper and comes oh so close to getting us in front in this tie for a second time just inches away from taking his uh, hat trick goal what that would have been of course with the penalty and the uh, the early goal in the first half but Alex Raps is drawing the defenders across great first uh, first shot well safe but what a finish from Erby Emanuelson hasn't found himself in the first team lineup too many times this season so far and that was a thumping finish so much power behind that I really was quite surprised he just raced in defender just asleep that uh, didn't see him coming over his shoulder he races in and wins us the game we do take all three points from that Champions League game I mean against Zenit St. Petersburg so delighted to do that and uh, it gave us a good run into this game because we rested quite a few players away at Juventus now of course in the uh, brief Atletico Madrid career mode series that we did before I, uh, I made my mistake and deleted the series but uh, we'll move away from that Juventus were in our Champions League group and we played them and they were extremely extremely good very very powerful very purposeful going forward extremely accurate with their passing and their shooting and gave us a very very good game indeed we came out with a 2-2 draw in the game with Atleti so I was hoping for something similar here if not uh, better if we could possibly manage it of course Milan aren't quite as strong as Atleti are as uh, you may have seen from the Champions League in real life this season uh, Atletico Madrid knocking AC Milan out in the round of 16 Carlos Tevez went close there in the early stages and uh, Juve were proving just as stern a test as they were when uh, we were playing as the Spanish side Rubinho managed to uh, to hold his space in the first team I couldn't I just couldn't find it within me to uh, to drop him after picking up two goals in the previous game so he 
Uh, I popped him into the starting lineup for this game, and he came close there. Good shot that unfortunately just drifted away that far top corner. Didn't really give Gianluigi Buffon too much to worry about, but uh, Rubinho was involved again here. Nice turn. Mario Balotelli is going to come inside and make a good run inside the defender, Barzali. Gets on the end of it. It's a fantastic shot, and again, just can't quite find the target. And even though Buffon didn't even try and get down to it, he was definitely beaten there. The ball didn't find its way into the back of the net. But Balo finds himself on the ball again. A lovely jing left to right. Turns inside. Buffon Buffon again, absolutely no chance with the shot and this time it finds its way inside the post into the back of the net and just five minutes before the end of the first half we find ourselves 1-0 up away at probably the biggest and most fierce of our title rivals. Fantastic effort from Balo. That shift of weight from left to right there just completely sells the defender Chiellini and he can't get himself back across right into the top corner. Fantastic goal from Mario and that put us in great stead for the rest of the half but not before we made an absolute calamitous mistake at the back and it was only a fantastic save from Guita. Great reaction save as you'll see from the replay that, uh, that kept Juve out and we went in at half time with a 1-0 lead or at least that was the plan considering that save was made so late on but Pablo Osvaldo breaks down the right hand side here obviously recently moved to Juve from Southampton whips the ball in up goes Arturo Vidal between two defenders and comes back to haunt us from our Chelsea career mode he was so so good for us at Chelsea and uh, he's come back to uh, to score against us for Juventus here to bring it back to 1-1 just before half time in stoppage time as you can see 47 minutes or 45 plus 2 as it should be so we go in at the break level but we've been doing okay we created chances although Juve were definitely doing exactly the same so we're going to be have to be on the ball if we were going to get anything out of this game but just at the start of the uh, of the second half just before the hour mark they uh, they pick up a penalty for handball here you can see the defender goes up it does strike his arm before uh, before the uh, Jivink I think it is number 18 gets up to uh, to win the header so uh, Tevez steps up hits the inside of the post he was so accurate with that shot it was either fantastic fantastic accuracy with the penalty strike or really really fortunate that he pulled it too much but uh, unfortunately for us they uh, they do go 2-1 up and they're going to get a, yeah, another decent chance here. Up comes the ball. Vucinic with the header. It comes back off the inside of the post. He really was unfortunate there not to extend the lead to 2-1. But I made a couple of changes bringing on Kaka and Alexander Lacazette for Stefano Sarroi and Rubinho. Rubinho, as you can see there, visibly uh, disappointed to be coming off the pitch. Felt that he could still uh, have an impact. I love the way the players come down from the uh, from the bench there, down the steps onto the pitch. That was really, really nice. I do like that addition to uh, this Juventus stadium. But Mon Montalivo's into the uh, the substitute. Kaka, 2 Polly, and that is a fantastic save from Gianluigi Buffon. He didn't even bother diving for a couple of shots in the first half, but he definitely had to dive here to keep Polly out and to keep us out and stop us from bringing it back to 2-2. It's a fantastic save. One of the uh, the better saves in this uh, in this series so far, but Montalivo is involved again into Balotelli. He's going to try and link up with, uh, with Stan Senad Lulic. Doesn't quite get the ball to him, but it's a fantastic recovery tackle from Lulic. Montalivo breaks free, and it's a great finish right into the bottom right-hand corner, and we thought in stoppage time we'd say Saved ourselves a point, but unfortunately, Montalivo handled the ball as it was bouncing in in front of him to uh, to take that chance. Now, unfortunately, we're going to actually lose this game against Juventus. So that's our second defeat of the Serie A season, and uh, we're going to have a quick squad report here. We haven't had one yet in this uh, in this series, just to see how the players are developing after uh, after the first few games as we pull outside of the, uh, the January transfer window into September and October and try and get our season fully underway. Of course, as always, if you uh, if you want to pause the video at any point to have a look at any particular players' individual stats, then feel free to do so. But uh, this squad report is going to end this uh, particular episode of the day. We're only going to have two games today. We'll, of course, we'll be back up to three again tomorrow. There was an episode of My Player went up yesterday, so uh, feel free to check the channel page if you missed that. There'll be an episode of My Player tomorrow night after the... Uh, after the uh, my player, not my player. After the AC Milan career mode episode that will go up at 1 p.m. Although of course it is the Manchester derby tomorrow night, so uh, if you do watch that and uh, our AC our my player episode will go up at 9 p.m. So uh, do feel free to check your sub boxes after the uh, after the United City derby to uh, to watch that video. But that's all for today. Uh, you guys have been absolutely superb with uh, support over the weekend. I'm in jovial spirits today because I'm recording this Sunday night, and uh, my local team, Cambridge United, have literally just won their first cup of all time in 102 years 
Cambridge United win the FA Trophy, our first National Cup win of all time. So hopefully we can carry that form into the league and push on into the playoffs, maintain our playoff spot and get promotion back into the Football League. That is the aim for, uh, for my local side, Cambridge United. Then, of course, I can play with them on FIFA, something I haven't been able to do for uh, for over a decade now. Cambridge United haven't been on FIFA for over 10 years, which is really, really disappointing for me. But hopefully next season is the one. But that's all for today, as we say, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to leave the video a like if you please so kind. Subscribe if you haven't for all career mode stuff here, manager mode and player. But that's it for today, and I will see you tomorrow.